While most world leaders are fretting over bombs and stockpiles in the Iranian nuclear deal, some Europeans are focusing on lining their pockets. As CBN Middle East Bureau Chief Chris Mitchell reports, lifting Iranian sanctions could mean billions. One sign resulting from the controversial nuclear deal with Iran could read, open for business. That's why the German economics minister and French foreign minister ran to the front of the line to visit Tehran. Economic uh, factors will be dominant, while the other aspects of the deal, which is Iran compliance, will be uh, pushed aside, I'm afraid. Reports say European businesses are ready to compete for their share of the 77 million strong Iranian market. Sanctions relief in the deal would pour between 50 to 150 billion dollars into the Iranian economy, enabling Iran to become better at what it already does well, export terrorism. It's a huge amount of money that will help them to recover their economy, to keep the regime in power and to use that money in order to uh, finance all of those terrorist organizations in the, in the region. There will be in, enough money for Iran to export the revolution to Syria, to help Hezbollah, to send uh, missiles and the know-how, how to build missiles, rockets to Hamas. President Obama even admitted that the terrorists would benefit from sanctions relief, but said it was worth the trade-off for Iran not to get a nuclear bomb. Let's stipulate that some of that money will flow to activities that we object to. Iran supports terrorist organizations, Obama said, and even groups that have killed American troops. The truth is that Iran has always found a way to fund these efforts. And whatever benefit Iran may claim from sanctions relief pales in comparison to the danger it could pose with a nuclear weapon. Within eight years, people like Qassam Soleimani, commander of the Quds Force, that supports terror proxies throughout the Middle East, will be off some lists. Israeli Interior Minister Sylvain Shalom told CBN News it doesn't make sense. It looks uh, an absurd that a terrorist like uh, Soleimani that is running all of the terrorist, uh, terrorist uh, operations here in our region will be out of uh, that list and will be a uh, free man. And the Israelis are uh, brought uh, to the International Court in The Hague. In fact, Western intelligence agency said he already broke travel sanctions when he visited Moscow and met with Russian leaders last month. Retired Lieutenant Colonel Michael C. Gal says dangerous people will be taken off the sanctions list. There is a guy, most of people probably didn't hear about him. His name is Faridun Abbasidavani. He was uh, the head of the Iranian uh, Atomic Energy Association, one of the most skillful scient nuclear scientists, and people like him Will be, move, will be moved out from the uh, uh, sanction list. Iranian leader Ayatollah Khomeini may soon press his advantage. According to a New York Post report, he recently released a 416-page book called Palestine, in which he lays out a plan to destroy Israel. As Congress debates the nuclear deal and the friction continues between the U.S. and Israel, it's clear the mullahs will see them as one the great and little Satan, and they still call for death to both.